Hi, today we're going to be taking some of those things off the list that I sent out with uh, equipment that you need for PE at home. We're going to start putting some of those together to make some equipment that we're going to be using for our tossing and catching skills in the next few weeks. So one of the things that you're going to need is a bean bag. So what I have is I have brought some uh, popcorn. It could be beans, it could be rice, anything like that, any dried ingredient like that. I brought that from home and I brought some sandwich bags. Mine are Ziploc, but flip top work great too. All right, so let's get started. Here's how you make your bean bag at home. So I'm going to take one of my sandwich bags and I'm gonna put about a cup or so of my popcorn, my dried ingredient, into that bag. Okay, it doesn't have to be full. I don't want it too heavy. I'm gonna seal it up, pushing out as much of that air as I can. And then with the closed end, I'm going to put it inside of a second bag with the closed end down. That way, if I drop it and it happens to break open, that it just breaks into the other baggie. And so I'm going to seal that, press out as much air as I can and seal that up. And now I have my bean bag that I can practice my skills with at home. Now, if you drop a lot like I do, you could even add another bag and make it even stronger, okay? And that's how you make your bean bag out of sandwich bags and a dried ingredient that you have at home, okay? Now, another thing that we're going to need is we're going to need uh, some sort of a ball. And a great ball to use is a sock ball. So I have my pair of socks and I'm just going to put them together and roll them up. And then I'm gonna use just the cuff of one of the socks, just one cuff and fold it over. And then I'm gonna squeeze it to make it as round as I possibly can. And now I have a sock ball, something I can toss and catch. And if it hits something, it's not gonna break anything, okay? And I can play some of my tossing and catching games with my sock ball. Now, if you are in um, fourth and fifth grade, or you just like to have a ball that's a little heavier, you're going to need some weight into that ball. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna take this apart. We're gonna actually add some weight. I'm going to use my popcorn again, and I'm going to use maybe, oh, a half a cup or so. I'm going to scoop some in, and I could do this with a spoon, and I'm just gonna stick it down in that sock, shape it down there so it gets all the way down to the toe of my sock, okay? I want it down in the toe. Put another one in there, make it just a little bit bigger, about a half a cup or so. And I'm going to dump this one in very carefully so I don't spill the beans all over the house. And once I have those down into the toe of my sock, I'm going to twist it. Twisting, 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 twisting. And then I'm going to cuff it just like I did when I made my sock ball. Just cuff it over and push that all in there together. Okay? Push it all the way in really good so it's pretty closed. All right? Now I have a ball that has a little bit more weight, which is going to be better for our juggling skills. Okay, I could even put the second sock over the top if I wanted to. It kind of keeps me from losing my socks. And it makes a little bit bigger ball. Okay, all right, now I have a little bit bigger ball that I can use. All right, that's how you make your bean bag and your sock ball that you can use for tossing and catching at home. All right, so I will see you on Zoom. And I will be letting you know when we need to have these things ready. All right, see you later.